Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a Ulta haul. I actually placed this order for 18 and I've had it for about two weeks now and it's just been chilling in my room here, not being loved and I need to use my stuff. I need to stop shopping, which I actually kind of have. Ulta sent out a 20% off coupon code and, and then I also did use all my points. Um, I had I had $148 off, so I only paid $5 from everything that I have in here. So this is a uh, five dollar haul um yeah i'm super excited that i only paid five bucks for everything that i got so if you want to see what products i picked up then just continue watching also if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe i do upload three times a week mondays thursdays and saturdays so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out if you want to see what products i picked up for five bucks then just continue watching go ahead and pull one thing at a time the first thing that I have actually been using and I'm almost halfway done with it are these Ulta Beauty 50 count cotton pads I use these with my micellar water I really like these because they don't like break apart fall apart when I'm like taking my makeup off at the end of the day I was using the Swisper brand from Walmart and those were falling apart so I decided to just go ahead and buy the Ulta brand I have purchased them multiple times and I've been enjoying them and again not falling apart so I figured let me go ahead and throw this in my cart to be able to use with points and yeah I need them so might as well but next up in here is this Urban Decay I was gonna include my Sephora haul. I only picked up three things, so I figured I could throw it in with this haul, but it's not here yet, like the VIB sale. And I actually got an email today um, that my order is still like processing, that they're kind of backed up at the warehouse. And I placed my order a week ago. Like I haven't gotten my stuff yet. The only things I bought was like a mini of the Milk Makeup Primer. Um, I also got the little Fenty Beauty like bronzer duo i got the one in shady biz and then it comes with like a cream contour stick and then i also picked up like an olay henriksen like skincare set i'll put a picture of it it's cut it's the like the vitamin c one so that's the only three things i bought so i don't think i'll be filming a vib sale haul because i only got those three things but let's keep going on this ulta haul um i got this urban decay born to run palette everybody's been raving about this palette and i every time i look at it i in store it's just like i am attracted to it but i didn't want to like pay out of pocket you know i wanted to use my points so that's why i was waiting um to get sent like a 20 percent off and then i can use my points and not pay anything for it Ulta like reward system is so much better than Sephora. I am a rouge right now at Sephora, but I am not going to be a rouge this year. I just feel like Ulta it, rewards is where it's at. And if I can buy whatever I can get at Sephora at Ulta, I will. And then stuff that they don't sell at Ulta, I'll get at Sephora. So I don't think I'm going to make rouge this year and I don't really plan on it. Um, but diamond at Ulta for sure. So here's what the packaging looks like. It's super pretty, like vacation pictures. It's really nice. And then here's what the inside looks like. You get a really big mirror. You pretty much get everything in here, any color you will need. I kind of wish they had like not such similar shades like down here, but those are shades that we can definitely use. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Big Sky, Wild Heart. They're really pigmented and creamy. Here's three shades. You can't really, oops, I swatched that one again. So here are some swatches. I swatched this shade twice, but um, everybody's been raving about this palette saying that the formula is different and super creamy and nice and that's just different from like the Naked Heat palettes. So I got this. Palette. So I got three palettes, like I need more palettes, but the next one that I got was by Revolution, Makeup Revolution, and this is the Forever Flawless Unconditional Love Palette. And I have used this already. This is the palette that I had in what video i think it's like my 19 and 2019 i'm not sure where i have like a hot pink in the inner corners but this is the palette that i used and look how pretty this is it does swatch really nice and pigmented and the and the shadows feel really creamy as well and here's a few shades Ooh, this one's really pretty but this is where i swatched them these three pinkish type colors these are really nice i really enjoyed the palette when i used it i do need to test it out a little more and i don't really have a lot of like pink tone palettes in my collection and it was really affordable too so 
I also picked this up. The last palette that I picked up was the Juvia's Place the Tribe palette. And I figured I'm not going to pay very much for this haul. So I might as well get palettes that I've been wanting for a while. Um, when this first came out, I was like, ooh, super nice. But I'm like, I'm going to wait until Ulta gets it. And they did. So I went ahead and got it. So here's what the inside looks like. Very pretty. I haven't used this. Ooh, look at that. I really like Juvia's Place eyeshadows. They're really pigmented. Ooh, look at this. I like more of their like shimmer formula better than the mattes, but I think it's really good and affordable as well. I want to do like rehauls and, you know, use these products and then come back and tell you guys what I thought of the products. Because, you know, a lot of the time we just haul stuff and then we never talk about it again. So I want to probably wait like a month or so and then like... I'll do a rehaul and tell you guys if I still like, if I like the products or not. The next thing I picked up was by BH Cosmetics. This was one of the products that were like on sale. I think regular price is like $16 and I got this for $9. And I don't think the discount applied to this anymore just because it was reduced already. So this is the BH Cosmetics Blushing in Bali 6 Color Blush and Highlight Palette. Here's what the outside looks like. I was kind of eyeing it when I've been seeing a few influencers like use it in their videos. And they were saying that it was really good and pigmented and really nice. So I figured, you know, $9 from $16, like that's already a good price. So here's what the inside looks like. You get, again, three blushes and three highlights. And then you do get a mirror as well. And yeah, I've heard really good things. Let's swatch the highlighters. Ooh, these are like, have a really nice texture to them. I'm running out of space, but ooh, these are nice. Look at that. I'll probably mix like these two together to lighten this one and then like the two lighter ones, but this is really creamy so far. Wow, that's nice. So yeah, I jumped on this when it was $9, so. Again, I'll be doing like a rehaul and let you guys know or using it in like a future shop my stash so I can test that out. I decided to pick up a skincare product just because I'm running out of my night serum and I've heard really good things about this serum. So I figured I'd pick it up with my points and again the discount. So this is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It's a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. So here's the packaging. Again, I've heard super good things about this, so I figured I can go ahead and pick this up and use it at night. I only tried one other product by this brand, and it was the um, Midnight Recovery Eye Cream, I believe. Yeah, and it's really good. Like, I thought, is this, does this product really work for, like, dark circles? And I had stopped using it for a few days, and yeah, I could tell the difference. Like, I definitely had to correct more when I don't use it, and I'm actually running low, so I probably should have got that as well. I would recommend the eye cream again, because I feel like it does make a difference. Um, but now I'm excited to try this out and see, like, if it does, like, help my skin. I'm using the Olay Henriksen. Um, invigorating night serum right now, but again, I'm almost, I'm done with them pretty much like scraping whatever's left out So I'll be using this very soon Next up I picked up this Jcat beauty silicone applicator I figured I'd pick this up just for like glitter pressed glitters and then also like super shock shadows um, Just because I feel like I'm using a lot like when I use my finger I figured like a silicone applicator would help better to grab the product So I picked this up as well I also picked up this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Bloom Time and I had ordered this before and then it went out of stock so I never received it in my order and then I saw it was back in stock so I went ahead and added it to my cart, added it, added, added, whatever, <laughs> but a lot of people have been raving about this, ooh, hopefully it works out, but it looks like a pinky tone highlight, let's swatch it right here, ooh, super pretty, I don't know if it's going to be too dark for a highlight on me, but it's this up here on my knuckles. Really pretty though. Um, these are super affordable and really nice. So um, I'm excited to use that. Let me take all these swatches off. I'm excited to try that out. A lot of people have been raving about it. There's people that rave about it and there's people that are like, oh, it's not that good. So again, I'm looking forward to trying this. The last few products are just eye pencils. This is all I have left in here. Um, these I've been wanting forever and they retail for, I don't know. 
I think $4, something like that. But they also had a sale on these. They were $2.50, I believe. So I went ahead and picked up these colors right here. These are the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliners. So these two, so these three are eyeliners. And then these two are lip liners, but I've used lip liners on my waterline before. So I just went ahead and picked up these two as well. I probably should have taken the plastic off. So this one is in... Oh, this is a lip liner as well. This is in the shade Blaze. Ooh. It's like a purple pink color. So let me swatch the lip liners first. This is in the shade Pop. Ooh, super bright and creamy too. So they'll be transferring nice onto the waterline. <clears throat> this one's in the shade Fiery. Ooh, this one's really pretty too. It's this one up here. These are um, eyeliners. This is in the shade Vivid. Oh, this one's not as bright. It's more like pastel-y a little bit. Still pretty. Hopefully it transfers well to the waterline. I got this yellow called Screamin'. Look at that. And then the last one that I got was another eyeliner in the shade Fresh. I don't have a, this kind of color in my collection, so I figured let's go ahead and pick it up. This is really nice and super creamy too. Hmm, nice. From all of them, the yellow wasn't very like, it feel like I had to go over it a little bit. But overall, these are all really pretty colors and excited to use all of those. So those are all the products that I picked up during the 20% off sale. And again, I only paid $5 for this whole haul. So I'm very happy with that. I would recommend you guys waiting to use up your points when you're at like 2000 points because that's when your points are worth more than kind of using them when you have $5 off or $10 off. Your points have more value to them if you wait at 2000 points to redeem it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.